This over here is my workshop caddy. It's actually based on a similar plastic model that I had when I worked uh, in the upholstery conservation lab at Colonial Williamsburg years ago. Uh, that one had multiple drawers. This one actually has two, and I designed it that way for a reason, and I'll go into that in a little bit. Otherwise, the caddy can be used for both standing operations as well as sitting. So if I'm standing and working on the bench, or if I'm sitting at a table, it gives me a lot of extra workspace, place to put my tools for easy access and for safety. So this is an example of the caddy fully loaded. We have chisels and hand tools up on the top rack. We have uh, a drill, marking gauge, uh, some mar marking materials, can't see, but you will in a minute. On the top level, we have some things down in the bottom level, some larger tools. We have a drawer, and we have some wood supply on the bottom. And so I'll talk about each of the levels and some of the features uh, as we go through it. So, you can see I'm sitting down. I'm actually sitting on my saw bench. Not, not the workbench saw bench, but an actual separate saw bench I built. Uh, and so this shows how it would be if I was at seated level. And so, like I said, back row we have chisels. One thing you do not want to do when you're sitting at your bench is to do something like take your sharp uh, items and stick them in the dog holes. Have them just sitting there, um, taking up room. For example, one of these, just stick it in there and leave it there and then reach under to do something, mark your hand up. So you definitely don't want to do that. And so this chisel rack uh, on top gives me a safe place to put my chisels as well as pliers, scissors, screwdrivers, anything like that. Just anything that uh, all the different things that I put in there for uh, depending on what I'm doing. So it's a great place to do that. The top shelf, top drawer area, um, I've got drill bits, um, two different kinds of drills. I've shown these before on other videos. Um, different marking, drafting tools, stuff like that. There's no rule as to what I put up here. It's just whatever uh, I can get in there that uh, can fit uh, for my needs. Um, but it's a great space to put something if I'm working. Uh, and I should say additionally, not just for workshop uses, but uh, I'm a conservator in my conservation lab. Sometimes I'm working on something like a mirror or a sideboard or a large painting frame. And I can't put anything on the table because the object takes up all the space. And so this caddy uh, was built to kind of help me uh, have a place to put things. So I don't have to uh, put things on the floor or have to walk over to get something. It's just right there. And of course, it's on wheels, so it's easy to get to. And there are handles on the side, so it's easy for me to pick up, put in my car, that sort of thing. The space down here is an open space. It could have had a drawer, but I wanted to have sort of a nook or an area to put things in. It's a great place to stick something, really, a mallet or a saw, put saw in sideways, uh, got a square I can put in there, speed square. Um, and I can all, also handle up to a jack plane. Uh, it's not really enough room for a four plane. Well, actually, it might fit, who knows? It might stick out a little bit. Uh, usually the four plane is so large that I put that on the layout table or back into the uh, the Dutch chest. I don't usually have it out. But the uh, jack plane, smoother, block planes, I always put them down here. It's a great place to put them. And so it's an easy way to put something in there, just like the tray. It's like a second tray. Place to put stuff in um, and get it out of your way where you're working on the table. Next thing down is the... Uh, just a drawer. It's actually the only drawer. There was room for two drawers, but I decided to just do one because I wanted to do something different with the bottom. So this is the drawer. Pull it out. It's very simple. Very simple. Just some Ziploc bag. There's a rule. Uh, these two containers, pill containers, empty pill containers, and it's a great way to, if you got little screws, little pieces you don't want to lose, stick them inside here, close that up, put it by your work surface, and um, they're safe and they're not going to come out and so that's why I have two of those just in case usually I only need one at a time so down here at the bottom we have another space 
Now there was room for another drawer. In fact, the original design was to put a second drawer down there. But instead, I wanted to keep it open. So I could uh, throw wood down there, got a dust brush for use with the bench. Um, this is sort of the uh, little tray that the dust goes in, as well as um, if I'm working on a car or something else, I'm sitting on the floor. Uh, this gives me sort of the equivalent of this area or even the tray on top as a place to put things, put tools uh, instead of just laying them on the floor. And so it makes it very versatile for what I'm doing. Another feature that I included was a magnet, a big old rare earth magnet on the side of the piece right here. And I made that really for anything to go on, but it's mainly used with the cabinet scraper. Put the, scrap, put the cabinet scraper on, you don't have to worry about it. When I need the cabinet scraper, I know where it is. Most of the time the cabinet scraper is in the Dutch chest uh, when it's kept in the house. But when we come out and do some woodworking in here, I'll put it right there because I always know that's where it is. This is another look at the, uh, the tool tray or the tool area on top where the chisels are kept. I'll pull the chisels out. It actually serves a dual purpose. They come out very easily, set to the side. So, because I have chisels in here and other material, sometimes they have wood attached to them and I don't want that just falling anywhere. This piece actually comes off. And so there's a well inside and inside that well uh, I can clean out the uh, debris if I need to. Additionally, the well is very helpful if I want to do some assembly. And so uh, if I'm doing uh, a glue up or something like that. I'm going to stick my mallet in here, my glue, some paper towels, different things like that. Um, I can put a box of nails on here and a claw hammer here. Just any sort of use. It just gives me another way to uh, creatively use this um, this piece. One of the last features that I built on this was this little drawer. Little drawer pulls out. It's actually there's a little thing in there that kind of kind of keeps in it. So you really have to pull it, pull it out. Will not come out. Will not. Will not come out. So I have it locked in place, which is a great way to do that. This is where I keep pencils, uh, erasers, and there's always a pencil and eraser in there. So that's a very good help for the shop. Additionally, the real reason for having it is for putting little tiny pieces in. This is actually part of a molding plane. Uh, it's important to help keep the, uh, the, the piece of together. Uh, but if I'm working with little tiny screws or something like that, sometimes I can just put them in here, lock it up, not going to come out all easily, and it's a great place. It's there, and it's there when I need it. So it keeps it secure and in place. Some construction notes on this. Uh, the whole piece is my, my own design. Uh, as I said, I made it based on a sort of a plastic one that we used at Colonial Williamsburg. This is uh, quarter inch plywood all the way around. Uh, it is screwed, screw and glued together with uh, these kind of sort of deck screws, wood screws. Um, there are some other wood pieces, there's a piece of pine on here. The tray is made of pine. Um, and there's some other, uh, right here, we got pieces of pine there. As I said, this is, this is actually poplar. Uh, the, the desk, that's how you can tell it was done towards the end of this project because there's a period of time. I, I made this piece in about 2017 or so, same time that I made the Dutch chest or the, um, the chest of drawers. And there's a time there where I um, go from working in pine all the time to poplar all the time. Uh, because as you remember, uh, the, when the chest of drawers is made in 2017, there's a lot of, uh, there's pine in there, but also poplar. And then when I make the apothecary uh, in 2019, that is almost entirely poplar. And so that's probably about the time that this was made. And so, uh, but it's primarily plywood from a big box store, uh, cut to size, glued and screwed together. Just pull it all the way around. You can see where the sticker was uh, when I bought it. Very crude, but that's the way we do it here. And so it gives you the full, um, the full look. Plus, uh, as you see, there are some construction uh, notes, some uh, pictures I did in SketchUp 
before I created this that you can look at. And that is my shop caddy.